Hey, what's up guys? Abdul Martin here from Uber Tech Reviews and today I'm doing a video with my Note 2. I have got to say something. Um, I recently rooted it and I put Cyanogen Mod on it. Cyanogen Mod 10.1.3 So, um, yeah, th that is the thing that uh, I'm making a video about. Now, um, the reason why I installed Cyanogen Mod was that I rooted like in June and I put a custom recovery on it without thinking. So when I unrooted, I did not change the recovery because I unrooted using the super SU method. So after after I did that, I couldn't get system updates because um, my device was already modified. So in the end, um, it is now November. I decided to just put Sound Engine mod on it because there's nothing much I can do about it. So this video is about my experience with Sound Engine mod 10.1.3 right here. I installed a custom theme already and I've got to say I really enjoy Sound Engine mod. Let me just show you the uh, thing here. It is 4.2.2 As you can see, Jelly Bean 4.2.2 And this, there are two easter eggs, but this is the normal one Let me just put that There we go Very, very nice And Um, Sound Engine Mod within the 10.1.3 Tolte Which is, uh Tolte is just the GTN7105 so, um, uh, when I first got Cyanogen Mod, this was my second time on a custom ROM. My first time was on my Galaxy Note 1, which I had Paranoid Android in it. And since that was on my Note 1, I was not, I did not know what I was doing, so I just installed a custom ROM. But, I uninstalled G apps, Google apps. So, because of that, uh, I thought that my phone was destroyed, so I just sent it to Samsung and actually recovered it, recovered it because they didn't know I put it on the custom ROM. So, t today is my experience with this custom ROM. As you can see, my Wi-Fi is not doing very well right there. If you can focus. Yep. So, uh, let me show you something. The theme I'm using is Red Moon, right there. Yeah, and um, it is a pretty neat theme. It themes your Instagram, so now it's red. It themes your WhatsApp. It themes your um, Play Store. So now it has a black background, and it uh, also themes. No, I. I don't think it teams Twitter, Twitter. So, teams phone, really nice. Teams messaging, and uh, yeah, it doesn't. I don't think it teams anything else, except for those. It also teams the keyboard. The uh, I think it teams Google now. Does it? Yeah. No. No, I don't think this theme. Um. Does Google now? So, yeah. What I've got to say, performance have, has improved from TouchWiz. That thing was laggy. I just couldn't say enough. But this um, Sound Engine mod, since it is an AOSP ROM, it runs smooth as silk. Especially if you go to settings, performance. Okay, processor. Now, I'm using Pegasus Q right now. As you can see, my governor right there. You can change it to performance so that it always stay on 1.6 gigahertz or 1600 megahertz. So it will constantly run very smooth. All four cores will uh, be 1.6 gigahertz for all time. 
You can set it on boots, but I decided not to, um, because this is not really what, uh, Samsung recommended. So, I just put mine on Pegasus Q, and if you can see that, there, it will change from 200 like you heard, sometimes 400, sometimes 800, and sometimes just 1600 fully. I think if you play games, that would be 1600. Um, I have, and uh, battery life, it definitely has improved, like, twice as much. Performance has improved by 50%, but battery life is seriously very good. Um, I don't know where, yeah, to show a screen on time. But this was because I was uh, really playing games for the whole hour, so it got down to. Let me see here. Can it? Can it focus? Come on, HTC One Ultra Pixel. Come on. I don't think it can focus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Come on. Yeah, there you go. Fifty-eight percent. So pretty much. It, uh, let's see. My math is not forty-two percent. Yeah, forty-two percent in one hour because I played for the whole hour. I was playing that trigger to right down there. So yeah, and um, what I really like about this is that uh, the DSP manager. It, it's a pretty neat equalizer. It really just makes everything really nice. The tweak the headset, the speaker, and the Bluetooth speaker if you have one, but I don't. So yeah. Um, I have tried Expose. I think it's called Expose Framework, but it's not really. <laughs> I, I don't really know how to use it and got to watch videos on it, so I deleted Exposed already. Maybe for now. Uh, titanium Backup is really useful, but I'm not using it currently. Not until I change to maybe AOKP, because um, AOKP looks pretty neat. Um, so, I installed it by ROM installer, which is this one right here. Let me... Okay, it needs to grant super user request now. So, raw installer is pr pretty neat. Let me let load. You can install AOKP, Carbon ROM, Cyanogen mod, uh, and the Nightlies. If you go to settings, this is where the ROMs will go to. Then you can select your recovery really. So, you can choose either Clockwork mod or Twerp. Team recovery. Yeah. Um. Let's see here. So you can back up and restore your ROMs. You can flash to recovery. You can install ROMs right here, which you, which it will do it for you. So you can back up existing ROM. You can wipe the data and cache. You know, which only applies to when you want to s totally switch a ROM from sound engine mod to echo. AOKP or from TouchWiz to Paranoid Android, pretty much. And uh, this is the install queue, so you can add zips of what ROMs you want, and including gaps. Now, the pretty neat feature here, oh yeah, and then there's the ROM updates, which will update per two days. The pretty neat thing about this is uh, go, okay, for example. Sound Engine mod. As you can see, I have the 10.2 RC1. You can, once you download it, you can choose which Google, you can choose the Google apps that you want. So that's pretty neat, but I'm not going to update to RC1 until it is a full stable release that there is no uh, RC on it. Uh, I mean, release candidate on it. I want it to be fully functional. Uh, let's see what else. Um, speaker has improved a bit. Um, I don't know whether I want to give you a taste of music or not, because it might be copyright. Well, I. I should just try it. 
I mean, why not? Okay, this is full volume, so it might turn out nice or turn out not because I'm using a HTC One speaker, so let's just test it out. Oh, good. Now this is a big room, so take that in mind. Let me skip some parts. Okay, here we go. Yeah, hopefully this turns out good because I don't really have any other songs. That's the only song without voice. So yeah. Not that I'm not I'm not gonna get copyright strikes if there's no voice, but yeah. So uh, let's see here. Is there anything else that I need to tell you about? Yeah, um I tried using Cyan Engine Mod installer right there, but it didn't really work for my Note 2, although my Note 2 is supported. I so um, I decided to go the old way of just downloading the ROM, downloading the G apps, and installing them over by porting them over to the external SD card and downloading it, which is uh, actually pretty easy. I don't know why you need some more installer because installing manually is pretty easy. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I guess I'll see you guys in my next video. I have the iPad Air, so I will be making a video on that very, very soon. And yeah, I guess I'll catch you guys next time. And yeah, bye guys.